wrong with us? We out here living like this and thinking that it's normal. We are a delusional people. Delusional. Let's read it. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 28. Uh -huh. The Lord shall smite thee with madness. With what? Madness. So the Lord says he's going to smite us with madness. Our people mad and crazy as heck. We crazy out here. We crazy. Something wrong with us. Nobody's correcting us. And nobody's giving a damn about it. Except for us that, that come out and teach who we are according to the Bible. And teach that our people are royalty. And that we need to be doing better. Before I wrap up, my young sister right here. What's your name, little sister? Malia? What color is Christ? I think that was you that was pointing over here to the uh, to the image. You said one of these is God, right? That was you? Who was it? Okay, so let me ask y'all then. Which one of these is God? My, my young brother right here. Which one of these is God? That one? How y'all know that? Your mom watches us? Okay. Okay, good, 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 good. Let me ask y'all this. Is Christmas good according to the Bible? No. Who says yes? Who says no? Raise your hand if you think that Christmas is good according to the Bible. Be honest. You think it's good? You think Christmas is good? You think Christmas is good? You think Christmas is good? What about you? No? What about you? Okay. So, two got it right out here. All right? So, let's get it. All right? So, the Bible says we're not supposed to celebrate American holidays. Christmas is one of the biggest uh, American holiday that our people celebrate thinking that we're doing it for God. But guess what? We don't do... God says not to do that thing. So, whatever we claim to do for God... We can't turn around and say, hey, Lord, that thing that you told me not to do, I'm going to do it for you. That don't make sense to God. So we can't say I'm celebrating Christmas for Christ because that wasn't even Christ's birthday. Right. Let's get it. Jeremiah chapter 10 and verse 1. Uh -huh. Hear ye the word of the Lord. Which, excuse me. Hear ye the word which the Lord speaketh unto you. Unto you. Unto you, black man. Unto you, black woman. This is not talking about the whole world. This is only talking about God's chosen people. That's right. This is only talking about you Israelites. Because that's who you really are. You're right. not blacks. Right. You're not uh, colored people. You're not Negroes. Right. Those are your slave names. And the Lord let you have those slave names because of your disobedience in the past. Now it's time to wake up from that stuff. Read on. Oh, house of Israel. Oh, house of Israel. That's you. Oh, house of Israel. That's our people out here. The people in the ghettos. Read on. Thus saith the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen. God says, learn not the way of the heathen. Who are the heathen? Who are the heathen? Anybody? That's The heathen are everybody outside of us. We are the chosen people of God. Even though we're in the ghettos, right. even though we're being oppressed, guess right. what? The Lord still chose us, That's and he's right. waiting for his chosen people to wake the heck up. He's waiting for y'all to do better than this. And then he's going to come reveal himself to you and the rest of the world. He says, learn not the way of the heathen. We under he understands that the white man celebrates Christmas, but guess what? He didn't give that to you. He didn't give you birthdays. That's the way of the heathen. Read on. And be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. All right. And be not dismayed at, this, at the signs of heaven. All right. With that, I'm going to let the next brother come up into. Well, finish with the tree and all that. Then we okay. Yeah. Finish, finish that up. For the heathen are dismayed at them. Uh -huh. For the customs of the people are vain. So God says the customs of the people, meaning the heathen, meaning the other nations, Everybody outside of the nation of Israel. He said it is vanity. God says Christmas is vanity. God says uh, uh, Thanksgiving is vanity. 
God says Valentine's Day is vanity. Read on. For one cut a tree out of the forest. So this now is going a little bit more specific. My people over here, my people, my brothers, my sisters. Did y'all hear this part right here? Read it again for my for my uh, family. For one cut a tree out of the forest. God says one cutteth a tree out of the forest. What is that talking? Which holiday is that talking about? Read it again for him. For one cutteth a tree out of the forest. Which holiday do we do that for? For which one? Christmas. One cuts a tree from the forest. Now, today is a bit more modernized. All we got to do is really go to Walmart, you know, get a get a, a plastic tree that's in stock, buy it, take it home, fasten it up. But this is what we had we used to have to do if we celebrated Christmas back in the day. Because they didn't always have Walmart. Right? Read on. The work of the hands of the workmen with the axe. They deck it with silver. It says they deck it, meaning decorate it, right? The core, read on. With silver and with gold. So they decorate that tree with silver and with gold. Again, what holiday is this talking about? Christmas. Talking about Christmas. Remember, the Lord says, don't do those things because they are vain. That's right. But he's getting specific. He's saying that holiday that you get, you, you cut the tree out of the forest, you take it home, you fasten it up, you deck it with silver and with gold. Read on. They deck it with silver and with gold. They fasten it with nails. And with hammers, they didn't move not. They are upright as the palm tree. But speak not. They must needs be born. That, that means they always, they have to be carried. All right? They have to be carried because the, the, the old doctrine for Christmas is that Nimrod, right, his spirit was in those uh, Christmas trees. Nimrod's spirit was in the Christmas tree. And if you didn't bring gifts to that Christmas tree, it was going to haunt you. It was going to curse you. Right? That's the origins of what our people celebrate today as Christmas. Read on. That it move not. Uh -huh. They are upright as the palm tree, but speak not. They must needs be born, because they cannot go. Be not afraid of them, for they cannot do evil. Uh -huh. Neither also is it in them to do good. For as much as there is none like unto thee, O Lord, thou art great, and thy name is great in might. All right, so y'all understand that. Remember the first part of that verse, it says, do not those, those vain things. Now y'all know, according to the Bible, we are not supposed to celebrate Christmas. That's right. So the Lord expects the Israelites, meaning all of you out here, because y'all are truly God's chosen people, he expects y'all to repent. Nation is men leading by example.